Hi everybody, today we're getting our facts straight. My special guest star is an expert in his field. So like, subscribe, and most importantly, don't go away. Shannon Pace, and you're watching Shannon's Place. Today, we're talking to a highly placed government official who's made a career out of knowing truth from disinformation. Go ahead and introduce yourself to our viewers. Hello, friends. I kind of have to correct Shannon here. Well, go right ahead. It's your job. Yes, it is. I'm not actually on the government payroll. I'm a fact checker for international mega corporation and social media giant Twitface, which is almost the same thing. Only better. Right. And what can my viewers and I call you? Uh, I've asked Shannon to keep my identity a secret, so you can all just call me FC. It's short for fact checker. That's great, FC. Thank you for talking to us today. Glad to be here. Now, you mentioned getting the facts straight, and I am all about that. Perfect, perfect. So, I've brought a collection of facts that have been showing up a lot online lately, and they're currently confusing my viewers. I was hoping you could give us the final word on what to believe. Absolutely. We at TwitFace know what a burden, independent thought, and the responsibility of reason are. And we've made it our mission to spare you from that by doing all your thinking for you. That's so generous. All hail Zuckerberg. We'll get started. And I've devised a fun little system for you. Oh, goody. Since you don't have your check mark or your red exclamation point, instead, you can wave these super fun streamers. Green is go ahead and red is stop right there. Hmm. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> They're so fluttery. <laughs> right? I told you it'd be fun. Okay, let's get started. I'm ready. So first, a practice round. The earth is round. Approved. Okay, what about this one? Cats and dogs are biologically identical. Ooh, false. Cats and dogs are separate and distinct creatures who require unique care and attention to live their best lives. You did it. Yay me. Now let's get down to the real nitty gritty. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Mmm, misleading media. Science has proven conclusively that God does not exist. <gasps> That's amazing. How did they prove it? With science. Of course. Of course. Trust the science, so I always say. Trust the science. Trust the science. Okay, next statement. God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. So, by what you said earlier, we already know that that part about God is disinformation because science. Yes, because science. But what about the rest of it? Oh, oh, very, very untrue. Male and female are social constructs that have no factual basis in science. Absolutely everything that exists is gender fluid and biological sex is an oppressive concept that has no place in our feelings-based society. That's so brave of you to say, FC. You're so brave. <laughs> so true. It's so true. But let's keep going. People should not be judged by the content of their character, but by the color of their skin. Yes, please. Oh my goodness, that's the truest thing that you could have possibly said to me today. It is? Yes, because after we're done here, I'm actually going in for my ethnicity realignment. That's today? Well, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yes, next time you see me, my skin will be all green and I'll be manifesting my true cultural identity of Venusian. Venusian? Like, from Venus? Yes, that's me, Venusian at heart. And soon, people will be able to judge me by my true self, not by what I do or what I say or believe or anything as trivial as that but by my beautiful green skin. Um, okay. Let's just get back to the fact checking. How about this one? I stand with Israel. Ooh, big red flag. Israel is a terrorist regime trying to wipe the tiny little Palpatine off the map. Free Palpatine! I think you mean Palestine. I know what I mean. Free Palpatine! 
Palpatine forever. Johannesburg belongs to Palpatine. Moving on, how would you rate this statement, professional fact checker? The education of all children from the moment that they can get along without a mother's care shall be in state institutions. Quote by Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. True, true, true. That's why Abe is my favorite president. And I like to think that, in our own small way, we at Twitface are making strides toward that goal by educating the world's children safely out of the view of any sort of parental oppression. No, that was false. Nope, fact check true, I'm the expert. But you're wrong. It was a quote, but it wasn't by Abraham Lincoln. Karl Marx was the one that said that. Oh, <laughs> silly me. I meant Karl Marx as my favorite president. Karl Marx is not a president. He was a filthy, disgusting bigot, a hypocritical racist who lived in the 20th century in Russia and is responsible for the mass murder of as many as 200 million people. False. This statement has been verified as false by independent fact checkers. It is not false. It is a documented historical fact. You have been cited for spreading misinformation. Your, Your account's account been suspended. suspended. But which accounts? All, All of them. I, you can't. I, I didn't do anything wrong. What I said was true. Your appeal is denied. Your accounts will be deleted. You are banned from all communication. Man, you get on social media, right? So, obviously, fact checkers cannot be considered a trustworthy source for truth. And we trust you realize that far from disproving God's existence, true science consistently validates the Bible. At Fly By Light Media, we choose freedom over comfort and truth over popularity. We hope you will too. And don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And you can buy FBLM t-shirts and hoodies through the link in the description. Every purchase helps fund future videos. Thanks for watching. Together, we, we are, are Fly By Light Media, Media and, and we rise to shine. shine.